Hello everyone and welcome back to Splash. Today we're going to be talking about five of the riskiest gambles that paid off on Pawn Stars. Do you want to win the new iPhone 11 Pro? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right back into the video. Number 5. Edward Curtis Photographs One of the biggest profits the Harrisons ever turned came 20 years ago when a woman walked into Rick's shop with four sets of photogravers by famous American photographer Edward Curtis. Harrison didn't know much about this early photographic process which used copper plates and gelatin paper with an etching process to create prints. But as the woman was only asking $50 for the entire collection, he took a chance on the purchase. After doing some research on his own, he found that they were worth a bundle and ended up selling them for $20,000. Now that was a profit which was so much considering how much they got the collection for. Number 4. Order of the White Eagle Medallion a very lucky yard sale fanatic picked up this medal for only 75 cents. Rick knew the heavily enameled medallion might be of interest and took a chance on it for $6,000. Expert Craig Gottlieb later told Rick that the medal dated back to the era of the Saris occupation of Poland and was actually worth much more than what he had paid. Both the original purchaser and Harrison made excellent profits from the item, with Rick eventually selling the medal for $30,000. The decision to buy it paid off. Even though Rick was skeptical at first, he had now earned a profit of about $24,000, and there's nothing short of impressive for him. His gamble had paid off, and he could smile proudly to himself. Number 3 2001 New England Patriots Super Bowl Championship Ring. Yes, this deal may seem like a loan, but it's more of a gamble. This is because Rick only did such a type of business, keeping in mind the maximum possible profit that he could gain. Former New England Patriots defensive back Brock Williams showed up at the shop one day ready to make a deal for his commemorative 2001 Super Bowl championship ring. It is not often that an actual Super Bowl championship ring makes it into the shop, so Rick was giddy with excitement over the ring when he saw it. What made that ring so collectible was how ridiculously beautiful it was, covered with 143 diamonds and is made of 14 karat white gold. It was the first time a ring exceeded the NFL's rule on expense limits. The ring was really a lot to behold, and Rick ended up buying it for $2,000 as collateral for a loan and kept it after Brock never returned to get it. It is now worth $100,000, which is about 50 times the value that it was loaned for. Number 2. Samurai Swords Chum Lee's mistakes are usually known to cost the shop a lot of money. You just bought those? Yes, I did. But not this time. He gambled on a pair of samurai swords and ended up earning big. In this modern age, swords are considered to be obsolete, but also quite valuable. They are treasured by a lot of people around the world and represent a much simpler time before guns and gunpowder. Owning swords is pretty cool as long as you don't hurt yourself, but owning a true antique sword is as rare as it can get. There are people who try to make modern equivalents and pawn them off as originals. A customer brought in two samurai swords during an episode, and an excited Chumley bought them for $4,000 without checking with an expert. Everyone is certain that he has made another Aranus buy, but this wasn't to be the case. What are they worth? Well, as a package, you're looking at about $13,000 for all three. I'm not going to congratulate you. It doesn't take skill to win in a slot machine. However, after the expert checked him, it was revealed that the swords were originals and came from renowned manufacturers dating as far back as the 14th century. The pair of swords were valued at $13,000, which was a huge profit considering how much Chumley had actually gotten them for. This was one of the few moments where Chumley redeemed his image. He wasn't so useless after all. Number 1. 1932 Ford Roadster when Rick and Corey Big Hoss Harrison headed across town to check out a jet black 1932 Model B Ford Roadster, it was instantly apparent that they had found a gem. Designed by Henry Ford's son Edsel, this gorgeous hunk of a car had 500 horsepower and a unique combo of folding convertible top and roll-up windows, making it a vehicle for all weather conditions. The only problem? The owner was asking the steep price of $105,000 for it. As always, the Pawn Stars called in an expert who declared that he loved it and proceeded to lay out all the reasons why the car was freaking amazing, then inadvertently did the Harrisons a favor by putting the value between $70,000 and $75,000. Knowing they had their work cut out for them to get the owner down to a reasonable selling price, the pawning experts went back and forth with them over the total until they whittled their way down to $68,250, a heartbreaking sale for the proud owner. 
It may seem expensive, but when you think of it, that would have cost about $100,000 to put this car together. Well, then you'd understand why it's really a gamble. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We'll be giving away the brand new iPhone 11 Pro, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it. Also, while you are here, go ahead and check out some of the other two videos that are on your screen.